Do you like my cabbages? What's up guys, today we are going to be making sauerkraut. I've never made sauerkraut before, but I'm super interested in fermentation. Uh, I've been reading a book called Gut Reactions, which is all about gut health. Very inspired by that, and so want to play with all sorts of different fermentations. So if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be making a lot more content about that. But today, phase one, sauerkraut. Let's go. Sort of vibe. Beautiful. We're going to weigh the cabbage. And what we want to do is we want to get about 2% of salt into it. So, 900 grams. So, that would mean we need about 18 grams. This is my favorite stuff, Cornish sea salt. That's where it's at. Ooh, way too much. Come on, James. Get it in there. And we're going to massage it in. Basically, that's the idea here. We want to beat, beat up the cabbage a little bit. We want that salt to draw out all the moisture so that it creates its own brine. And so that the cabbage will be able to sit, when we put it in the jar, we'll be able to sit underneath the water line. So we're gonna to need to get a lot of cabbage out here. So the salt will help, but also kind of bruising the cabbage a little bit by giving it some action will also help the process. We'll leave that one a little while. And now let's do the red one. We're just gonna leave these for half an hour. Let them chill out. Some good juice in there now. Really wanna get the juice going. Oh, look at the color on that. You see that? I'm just gonna put some mustard seeds in for extra. Brand new. Just for a bit of extra spice. Get everything in the jar now. And we're gonna really like compress it, like squish it down and tamp it so that we get as much of the moisture out as possible because we want it to sit underneath its own brine. So these are ceramic um, weights essentially which help keep the cabbage underneath the brine. So it doesn't spoil. Try and get everything as much as possible underneath. La fluid. All right, so here's what we've got to. Um, we've got this kind of bung with airlock, which is gonna go on top, and this will sit probably for a couple of weeks. Maybe a week, I don't know, it's quite cold at the moment, so it might be a couple of weeks. We'll see, we'll just we'll try it as we go. As you can see here, not everything's fully submerged, so I really need to keep an eye on that. Tomorrow, I imagine that more liquid would have come out of the cabbage. So tomorrow morning I'll check it and just make sure everything is submerged using the weights. And then yeah, just keep an eye on it every day. Obviously if you're using something that doesn't have an airlock like this, um, that's sealed, you need to burp it every day to make sure that the gases escape. Otherwise it will explode. So yeah, I'm excited. Look at that, it's beautiful. You should get a picture of this, Gareth. 